a wildly difficult rescue mission is about to commence in the Gulf. Little eggs that have to be carried as gently as nitroglycerin are going to be moved to safer shores. And Matt Gutman has been with the people who are preparing to hold their breath to carry an entire generation of sea turtles in the Gulf Coast to sanctuary. They're returning home, paddling hundreds of miles across the Gulf to give birth here on the very same beaches where they were born. It's been this way for thousands of generations until now. Tonight, it's a race against time and the encroaching oil. In what may be the largest man-made migration in history, U.S. Fish and Wildlife hopes to relocate every egg in every turtle nest they find in the northern Gulf Coast, up to 70,000 eggs. Next month, they'll be trucked 500 miles to Florida's Atlantic coast. We believe that any hatchlings that would crawl into the Gulf Coast at this point would, would not survive. But usurping Mother Nature's role is also risky. Each of the 151 eggs in this nest will be meticulously placed in temperature-controlled styrofoam packaging. These eggs are so fragile that just turning them upside down could kill a hatchling. After about 55 days of incubation, most of it on these beaches, they'll claw out of their shells, still in that styrofoam, then set free. It was tried on a smaller scale in Texas five years ago. Still, the odds are long for these infant turtles, smaller than the palm of your hand. Unless we find the proper habitat, the proper structure of their food web, it's going to be questionable if they can survive. At this rescue center nearby Mississippi, we're told that for each oil turtle rescued, four are found dead, adding urgency to this radical experiment. When your house is on fire, what do you do? You take your valuables and go in. And at stake, no less than the survival of several species. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Gulf Shores, Alabama.